Hi, my name is Xie Yijun. I'm honored to give you a fuller picture of me through this video. Firstly, I'd like to share some of my successes and failures. I had worked as an investigator in the China Employer Employee Survey. On the first day of the survey, our team found that it took a long time for employees to fill in the 30-page questionnaires and even some senior executives left many blanks. I immediately decided to change the way of research, use a combination of interviews and questionnaires, and let our interviewees finish some basic questions by chatting, such as, how many jobs have you done in the past five years? What kind of insurance does your company provide? By making efforts, and adopting the new research method, our team quickly completed high-quality data collection. I shared this tip with all investigators and helped another group that was behind schedule finish the research on time. Our team won the only first prize in 150 teams, and I got an individual first prize in this research. I concluded that the way to achieve a goal is not single. When the ordinary method doesn't work, I need to make quick decisions and find new applicable methods based on the actual situation. In addition to the successful experience, my failure in the business case competition held by the Hong Kong ICPA also gave me some inspirations. I chose friends majoring in the same program to be my teammates. We all have professional knowledge and skills of financing, investment, and risk management. And the team has strong cohesiveness since we got on well. However, none of us are experts in photography or design. A good business case requires not only outstanding strategies and financial budgets, but also impressive visual aids. The layout and the cover design took us excessive time, but was still not fascinating. I was aware that a highly effective and efficient team needs members who are complementary to each other rather than those close friends. Obviously, I can coordinate well with my friends, but the diversity and skill variety can contribute more to our teamwork. In 2018, I became an exchange student studying in the UK. Teachers and students with different cultural backgrounds taught me many business ideas and marketing methods that have not yet emerged in China. The interactive seminars in the exchange have cultivated my critical thinking and given me the face to present my own standpoints and doubts. The overseas exchange refreshed me as well as promoted me to learn more about international business. My academic performance continued to improve after the exchange. Preparing for any possible exchange chance in the future, I took a French course in my university and studied many languages by videos in my spare time. I attach great importance to international perspective and global alumni network. And that's also why I hope to join the Master of Management CEMS program. The Alliance achieves educational resource sharing and provides flexible course selections. Moreover, the recent problems in China, such as the African swine fever and coronavirus outbreak, have revealed management issues in institutions and enterprises, which strengthens my mind to study management to help communities and the society to solve lagged supervision and unreasonable allocation of resources. The career-oriented education in the University of Sydney 
is advanced and practical, I'm certain that I can grow into a better managerial talent there. I anticipate combining the financial knowledge learned in my undergraduate with management expertise in the CEMS program and devote my idea and network to the group projects in the future postgraduate study. Also, I will apply the decision-making skills, interpersonal skills, and leadership developed in my volunteer experiences to more social activities and business projects at the University of Sydney. I sincerely request you to consider me for postgraduate study in your university. Thank you. Bye-bye for now.